Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob and welcome to another one of my reviews and today, yes, we're going to do a nice tractor review on the, the class Oxion and uh, yeah, it is a nice uh, new mod that I've downloaded, very popular as well and quickly show you the, um, where is it now, there it is oh that's the 830 Oxion, there it is, the class Oxion, it's on modland.net very nice tractor to uh, have a look at and uh, yeah, maybe you're interested in downloading it um, it's got a lot of functions as you can see the list is endless guys I'm not going to go through all of them because that will take a whole year to do that <laughs> but yeah in the package you get two of them the 800 and this and the black edition um, and it also gets some weights in the back you know so yeah play around with that and have fun guys um, what I must say, um, if you go back to the tractor itself, the model itself, it looks very, very nice. Well done to the modder. Um, it definitely is a very nice mod. Looks beautifully done. Lots of detail, um, which you would normally like to see. And I, I quite enjoy the grill. Look at the see-through grill. You can see the radiator and the stuff in there. Very, very nice. I believe also that it, it is got um, we'll, we'll check the, the um, internal controls a bit later but this is the black edition I've bought both of them just to have an idea what it looks like really really nice really nice I can must say and I mean uh, the red rims is just standard of, of the class you know so yeah, I've left it standard because it sort of fits the fit the tractor you know <laughs> don't want to mess with something that works you know <laughs> good stuff right if we go on the on the inside uh, let's just check all the basics this is your front lights and then that's uh, the headlights yeah are tons of lights a very nice lighting back lights and that's off obviously and your indicators and that uh, let me just get there so that's now the wrong one there you go uh, everything working nicely great man yeah and then let's just hear the engine and I must say I quite enjoy this engine um, it's really well done if you if you look at the, the smoke coming out when you drive and when you idle it it sort of goes away again which just perfectly makes sense you know <laughs> you just switch the lights over there good so yeah I like that the engine sounds is very nice not not a problem there that is awesome and then the other thing I wanted to check was the hooter very important <laughs> yes it's got a good hooter man wonderful on the inside it's a very pleasant environment um, with a lot lots and lots of uh, functionality you can actually switch the radio on and off that looks like uh, I'm not too sure what that is but it could be a GPS or something um, in the back window this one here is for the triangles that is oh that's controls for your equipment very nice that's the triangle there we've done that already this is a menu system for that is definitely looks like a vehicle yeah you can cycle through very nice I must say it's like vehicle spec very very nice this one is your other door move around this way steering wheel nice in and out and as you can see also um, the joystick is, is simulated here very nicely done <laughs> that's for the door as well and then uh, let's just have a look down here passenger seat is done that's for the other triangle what's up here sunroof yeah it's got a sunroof oh I mean everything you can think of guys and the whole dashboard is also uh, simulated there so yeah very very nice I must say that is awesome alright let's just look on the outside is there any IC on the outside that can quickly just check and click click away I'm just testing guys no almond testing you know if you jump outside There 
there's nothing that I can see that is possibly uh, doable. Just want to check it out. So if you jump out, that is definitely the, the door. Okay, anyways, let's can switch off, jump out, and uh, yeah, so like I say, it's a very nice tractor, guys. Price wise, you have to have a look at the price. They're both exactly the same price. If you go in there, $380 a day, um, the base model 158 kilowatts, and top speed of 50, which is very nice. Okay. And then with all the options, guys, let me just go back to uh, the standard one, which is that one. Front loader attachment, engines. You've got an array of engine sets up. The 830, which is 165. The 840 is 177. The 850, 184. And the top is 870 at 195 kilowatt. So that is very nice. That's the one I've put into the tractor for us to play around with. Wheels, you've got a million wheels to choose from so you're never going to run out of problems or, or, or ideas of what wheel we want to use you know <laughs> very nice then grills it's got a silver grill which is the one i've chosen there for us and the normal grill so yeah also very nice and then the exhaust i like this also it's got the normal exhaust and then it's got a silver exhaust so i've put the silver exhaust on as well you'll see the covering it's got this nice silver uh, heat shield on it which is quite nice and then there's a lot of other things with flags and whatever, whatever. So you can play around through those and yeah, have fun setting up your tractor. Good, man. On the other model, the black edition, same stories here. Um, rim colors and whatever. Did you have rim colors on the other one? Let me just have a look. You couldn't change the rim color on this one. But on the other one you can. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't, I didn't pick that up earlier on. But there you go. A little bit less settings here. Um, if you can have a look at it. Um, yeah. But anyways, you can do some changes here as well on the black edition. So yeah, it's basically exactly the same tractor with just a little bit of other things modified on it. Great, man. So let's take it to the field and put it through the test, the farmer Bob test. All right. <laughs> let's get go to the field. Great just jump in i thought of jump cutting but it, it's always nice to um to actually uh okay something happened now with my mouse suddenly oh, i think it's still it's the ic that is still um on yeah if you press space it locks your screen so you can use the ic f functionality yes as, as usual, this is the um, Planes and Simples map by Stevie. And this is my testing map where anything is possible. Oh, my window is open. Maybe I must just close my door, you know, because that could be catastrophic if I drive past something and it breaks the door off, you know. <laughs> that would be horrible. <laughs> we don't like that, eh, guys? But yes, there it is. Full speed, 49 k's an hour. Very, very nice. Like I said, this is the Planes and Simple map by Stevie. And here we do all our tests. And we are not shy to do anything crazy on this map. You know, so yeah. We won't, we won't uh, be bothered with any rules and regulations. Right, so what I normally do is this uh, map has got a nice little incline there. So, uh, well, not the map, the field. Sorry, guys. Just get this unfolded. And what I normally do is I just put a worker on here, and then we can um, have a look at how how the vehicle perform. And while we are busy commenting and talking, whole bunch of nonsense and whatever, we can uh, see what's potting around us. Right, that should be enough there. Good. So there we go. Now bear in mind guys that this um, this is the all round the cultivator and it needs 260 kilowatts to actually be pulling and this class is 195 kilowatt which is quite impressive that it can almost pull this thing at full speed. <laughs> 
So yes, in comfortably, comfortably run with this uh, cultivator. I can quickly show you um, cultivators just to verify that I'm not talking nonsense, which is totally possible. It needs 258 kilowatts, you see. And our tractor is this one here. It is set up with the biggest engine there, which is the 870 at 195. You see, so it is totally underpowered for this cultivator, but yet it is running this thing almost at full speed, which is awesome, man. Remember this, the top speed of this cultivator is 16 k's an hour. Although it says 17, but you'll never get 17. It's always one less, you know. So, um, by, the, by the looks of it, and you'll see now it's starting to go up the hill. It hasn't dropped, hasn't dropped speed yet. So that is amazing. Really amazing, right? So this tractor pulls, f well, there you go. It just, 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 just wanted to uh, go down a little bit, you know. We're almost on top of the hill, but no, it didn't. It didn't drop down, which is awesome. So yeah, it definitely pulls far beyond its uh, capabilities. So very nice tractor, guys. Very, very nice. And I like the engine sounds. Everything is well uh, uh, simulated and working great, man. Working very nice. Well, guys. Uh, that is really awesome, man. So yes, get yourself a nice uh, uh, Axiom um, 800 there on modland.net. It's a nice tractor all around. And for the price, which uh, 195, which is really not too bad. It's a thousand dollars per kilowatt. <laughs> if you look at the max of that. <laughs> yeah, so that's really not bad, guys. So good, good all around the tractor for the farm. With this thing you can do almost anything. I mean this is a very large cultivator and it's already really doing it doing great on it, you know. Right, so guys, this is Farmer Bob and uh, thanks for joining in. Please leave comments if you want. I would like to know your thoughts and uh, wherever I've talked nonsense, you're welcome to correct me. <laughs> so uh, thanks for joining in guys and uh, yeah, have a wonderful day man. Take care until next time. Cheers.